Hi, I'm Ryan Cowart with Human Tech, consultant and ergonomics engineer. And one of the things I've noticed that organizations are really good at when performing ergonomics assessments on site is identifying excessive forces to the elbows, shoulders, and the lower back, but sometimes overlook applied forces to the hands and wrists. And that's why this diagram is here, to identify how strong we are in awkward postures. So we can see in a neutral posture we can create 100% of our voluntary contraction straight through the forearm. Whenever our hands go up to extension, when our fingertips are pointed towards the ceiling, we can create 75% of strength. So that's a 25% decrease than what we could already have in neutral postures. Now when our hands and wrists go towards flexion, when our fingers go towards the ground, we can only create 45%. So we're eliminating a significant amount here between neutral postures and flexion. So it definitely pays to have neutral postures when we're performing a task, be it horizontal oriented or vertically oriented. We see these types of issues in card handles, the proper tool or equipment for the job, or even whole body clearance when performing maintenance tasks. I'm Ryan Cowart. Thanks for tuning in.